Salutations one and all and welcome to the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride Out 2014, sponsored by, amongst others, Triumph and of course Philip Ewell, the Manchester Triumph dealer, and amongst others Davida, manufacturers of my brain bucket of choice. Started back in 2012 in Australia, the ride now attracts over 20,000 riders across 220 cities across the world, all dapper chaps along with some seriously sporting fillies. Raising money to fund prostate cancer research, the 2014 event will see over a million dollars raised whilst remaining the perfect opportunity for those taking part to ride their classic bikes, bobbies, cafe races and other examples of interesting tool wheel machinery all in a good cause. And finishing this year at Dukes 92, what better venue to quaff a fine flagon of ale and discuss the finer points of gentlemanly conduct. So without further ado, gentlemen start your engines and away we go. Can I just grab your names? Anita. Brian. Right. What bike have you done the event on? You'll have to ask him that A Kawasaki one. W650 Custom. Right. Yeah. And are you local? Are you from this area? We're from Preston in Lancashire. All right. And is this an event you've done the previous two years or else is this your first first attempt? No, this is our first, isn't it? First time. It's uh, first kind of, uh, first time for the bike as well. We've always gone for sort of modern bikes, but we sort of like the... Uh, the culture and the fashion behind yeah, this, don't we? Yeah, we're yeah. yeah, spying one for myself, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. So, has the run been all right? Well, it's because it's been around the centre of Manchester, hasn't it? Oh, absolutely. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. It's uh, a lot better than I thought it would be, yeah. yeah. So you'll definitely be back next year? Absolutely. Well, definitely, it'll, be, be, two, it'll be two bikes. Yeah. You'll be on your own bike I'll then. I'll be on my son on the back, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, all, it's classic bikes or cafe races is the way to go? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. I think it's just... Does that mean you're getting rid of the, the wife? <laughs> as I call her? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fashion and, and, and it's a different cult completely, you know, to normal road bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And everyone's like, everyone today has made a real special effort. And uh, not just with the, like the clothing and such, but the 
the bikes, you know, the custom bikes. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, definitely. Elder. And Nigel. Nigel. And you've taken part in today's ride. Yep. What have you ridden? We've ridden um, a Triumph Rocket 3. Right. Is that your bike or. Do you have a bike? No, I don't. Right. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> it seems to be the current theme amongst a lot of couples that. The wife or the girlfriend doesn't yet have a bike, but it's definitely on the cards. Yeah, you kind of catch the bug after you've been pillying for a bit. <laughs> yeah. So, have you enjoyed the event? Yes, it's been very good. Yeah. Is it one you've done before? Because this is the third. No, year? this is the first time. Right. So it's one you'll definitely be doing again. Probably. Yes. Right. So basically, then this next year you'll be here again, but this time it'll be two bikes. Hopefully, yeah. Right. Will it be another Triumph Rocket? I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thanks very much indeed, and right, back I'm here with Nick Kelly, who appears to be enjoying a, a nice, refreshing pint after a day riding through Manchester Centre in the hot, baking sun. Is this your first time at this event? It is, yes, yeah. I think the thermals were a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's just a bit warm, isn't it, really? Yeah. So, what have you done the event on? What have you ridden? Uh, I've got a Max Lusten G9, which is like a 1956 uh, 500 twin. Are you a vintage bike fan or is it just one that you have for such like events as this? No, no, I've got a couple and I've got a couple of modern ones as well. I've got a, a modern Triumph and I was sick of old people saying it's not the company it used to be so I thought I'd get an old Triumph to, to find out what it's like and really loved it. But uh, it's a bit poorly at the moment so the, the matchless I borrowed off my brother-in-law for the today. Yeah. So is it an event you'd definitely do again? Definitely, yeah, I've really enjoyed I've had a smile on my face all day. Yeah. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Been lovely, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, that's great. Thanks very much indeed. I'm here with Philip Yule, organiser of today's event and Manchester's major triumph dealer. Philip, how many entrants have we had today? Well, when I looked last night, there were 78 people signed up for it. There may have been a few, it was actually mid afternoon yesterday when I looked, but there may have been a few more since then. So definitely 78, and I reckon we've probably got about that here, to be fair. Right, how much organisers has this taken? Not masses. Um, it's a bit of a disorganised, organised thing, as these things are, because um, what, what's actually happened is there's been you set up a forum and then you do a ride, which I plan the ride. Uh, obviously, it's very difficult to do a ride on your own and then expect the same ride to be the same ride with 70 people, because it, is, it just isn't. Uh, we, we, we managed to do that. I've been out and ridden it a couple of times. I do know the city fairly well anyway. Um, and that's the route we followed. Most people managed to keep with us most of the way. We did lose a few at the end, but uh, we all regrouped as the science museum as we were supposed to do and that, that was that yeah so is it something that you do every year is this one of your annual contributions to triumph and to male prostate cancer <laughs> no no it isn't uh, it's something it's the first time I've done it so I think this event the turnout we've had is absolutely brilliant um, I'd like to do it again definitely want to do it again next year it's something I would like to put in our calendar to support I think it is a good cause um, we you know we're all men. Uh, I'm getting a little bit older, and uh, I do notice that uh, on occasion one uh, needs to use the facilities a little bit more often than one did when one, one, one was 16 or 17. So, you know, it's a good cause, isn't it? Yeah. So, basically, as Phillips just said, from one old fight to another, it's back Stay to the in. day's event. <laughs> <laughs> So, from the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride Out 2014 here in Manchester in association with Philip Yule and Davida Helmets, until next time, stay dapper and stay distinguished.